girls. So I am 31 weeks pregnant today. So we'll get right into my measurements. The only thing that has changed has been my belly. Um, if, I don't know if I was in my last video or not, um, but my belly has went up an inch. It went up an inch in like the matter of like two days. Like it didn't even go up a half an inch for a little bit and then an inch. Like it literally was like, I could tell my belly always felt like it was like going to like, sh just my skin was just going to rip. Uh, but it's, it's gotten a lot bigger. Uh, and I actually feel like it's dropped just a little bit, obviously not a lot, but just a little bit. Uh, so I'm curious to see what my doctor says or my midwife says when I see her to, uh, next Thursday. So nothing really else has changed in that department. Uh, in terms of my symptoms, uh, I haven't really had like anything really to complain about besides my back. My sciatica has came back. Uh, I try to take my dogs for a walk as much as possible just to get me moving too because as you guys know I don't work so I'm really just laying around at home so I've been trying to walk a lot and I mean I've been having to limit my walks to like 15 not even 15 minutes because I feel like I'm my butt is just like absolutely killing me uh, so that's a little bit annoying but I've can I'm I keep working out. I work out every day for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, I try to, um, you know, just do as much as I possibly can. It's funny because when I work out, I don't have sciatica, so I don't really know what that is, but whatever. So my weight hasn't fluctuated at all. Um, I'm still around 195, 196 pounds. Uh, I, I do measure my belly in centimeters every couple days to see if anything has changed and I am measuring at 33 weeks so I'm two weeks still two weeks ahead uh, but because I'm tall I feel like that might have a lot to do with it uh, no stretch marks on my belly yet except the tiny little one that I have uh, where my belly button piercing was uh, I'm hoping that it won't do what I've seen a lot of women do where it, like the skin actually just full on rips and it just looks terrible. Uh, my belly button has like fully came out uh, except when I wake up in the morning and I lay on my back it might be sunken in a little bit but when I'm as soon as I get up it's completely Baby Belly out. Kelly had talked about the other day I don't know if you guys watch her but go go to her site or her YouTube channel she's really funny. Uh, but. She had talked about like how certain like fabrics bother her skin uh, and I noticed that like totally like like the stuff that your um, your pants, uh, your maternity pants around like the, the part that goes in your belly, it's nylon. Uh, if you guys have ever worn just nylons in general, by the time you take them off you just can't wait to get them off. You want to itch your legs and just feel so much better, right? That's what it feels like on and my I belly. And I want completely like just rip my pants off because they're like just itchy 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 or if I wear certain cotton shirts um, when I'm not wearing maternity pants I'm just wearing regular pants I'll get itchy too so what I've been doing is I've been using um, the like um, no name brand of Pond's um, extra dry skin I've been using that and I've been using um, the no name brand of bio oil well it's the CVS brand of bio oil I'm telling you that stuff has the exact same ingredients uh, there might be one missing, but it's not an inactive, like, it's not something that's going to help it. And what I've noticed in most of these products for your belly and stuff is that it's just mineral oil. So it's like, well, if I just continue putting that on my stomach and all over, I'm sure I'm fine. And that, when I use the, like, extra dry skin moisturizer, I notice that I feel less dry throughout the day. Um, and it soaks into my skin rather than... The bio oil stuff, which even though it says it's not greasy, I still have to like wait a good like hour sometimes to actually put clothes on to not feel like I'm wet underneath or gross or whatever. So that's what I've been using. I still have the stretch marks on my butt. Uh, on my legs, um, I have uh, spider veins, varicose veins in my family and uh, it is definitely hereditary and I'm starting to, I started to get some when I was probably uh, 24, 25, uh, just a little tiny little spider veins on um, 
my legs, like above my knee, just tiny ones. And they're actually starting to get a little bit worse. So I could only imagine if that if I was working, uh, it would be really bad. They'd be really bad. So I've been getting more of those. Sorry, my dogs are fighting. So things have been going pretty well. Uh, if you guys didn't watch my last video, I did a video on my birth plan and my first class doing hypnobirthing. And uh, the hypnobirthing class was a lot of fun. Uh, and I mean, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But I'm definitely excited for the next four classes. Uh, I've been like, I'm almost halfway through the book already. And I'm just, I'm more excited to learn uh, this type of um, pain management so that I don't have to get an epidural. So I'll give you guys a belly shot and I will let you go. Inside. Front. I probably don't look like I've dropped that much, but um, he does tend to stay pretty low. Of course I didn't talk about him that much, but he does move a lot. Um, I got a few shots on camera. Uh, if you don't have me on Facebook, I put it on Facebook and uh, uh, it was pretty cool so maybe if anything I'm probably getting more pointy now um, but yeah from the front and from the other side so that is it so I will see you guys next Wednesday for my next hypnobirthing class update and let you guys know how that went so have a good weekend bye